Yo, what is up guys, Anthony here back with another Destiny Child video and in today's video everyone we're going to be going over all of the mission pass missions as well as events going on around currently in Destiny Child and we'll also be going over all of the events that are currently going on on the Destiny Child moot page. So let's get started here with the mission pass missions and then we'll move into the events and then last we'll go over the Destiny Child moot page events as well. Alright everyone to start it out here we have the Child's Limited Time Missions Tispy episode. So this mission set is basically a pay to play package set as all you have to do is log into the game one times total and you'll be able to purchase all of the packages here so as you can see you can purchase the following packages for 43.99 usd and you'll receive the rewards on the left hand side here and if you guys would like to uncap your tispy and pay some money towards the game you can receive rewards such as a five star summoning ticket some blood gems five star napping places a fist bee, some more tickets her spot costume etc upon purchasing these packages next up here everyone we have the land phase limited time missions which does grant you some stamina upon purchasing the packages now you'll actually have to use a total amount of stamina and log into the game one time before being able to purchase these packages and they do cost 899 usd each next up here everyone we have the monus limited time missions now this set of monus limited time missions we have seen quite a few times before all you have to do is log into the game one time and use a few stamina and you'll be eligible to purchase the first package here for $4.49 USD and it will grant you a ton of 5 star enhancement tickets to level up your units and you will receive the rest of the missions for free upon purchasing the first set here and you'll also receive 200,000 gold as well. Next up here everyone we have the premium summon limited time missions here at this episode so all you have to do for this set of mission you actually have to be pretty unlucky to be able to obtain the rewards from this set of missions so as you can see 10 10 times summons guaranteed runaway this be premium pickup summon ends if one or more 5 star drops so you have to summon on the banner 10 times or 15 times in order to receive these rewards but if you do receive a Thispy before the 10 or 15 times you will not be able to finish these sets of missions so this set of missions is basically to reward the player if you guys are unlucky with the guaranteed upon summoning banner next up here everyone we actually have a pretty new Mona's limited time set of missions here as you can see we have a set of crafting stone missions so the first mission here we have used crafting stone to reach s class three times and you'll receive some spa gift costumes so you can see you will receive one of the spot costumes for a water type unit fire type wood type light type and dark type and we also have some equip summon tickets we have a bunch of weapon armor and accessory crafting tools and a ton of suspicious ore upon completing the rest of the missions so a cool set of missions here that rewards you for giving your equipment some weapon crafting options next up here everyone we have the Lisa's limited time missions which does grant you with some suspicious ore armor weapon and accessory crafting tools upon completing a certain amount of story chapter 2 missions now we have seen this mission passed quite a few times before and you guys should know how it works by now but if you don't basically all you have to do is clear a total of 400 story chapter 2 missions and you'll receive a certain amount of suspicious ore weapon crafting tools armor crafting tools and accessory crafting tools upon each mission completion next up here everyone we have the elizabeth's limited time missions now all you have to do for this set of missions is set off in the exploration a total amount of times so as you can see here we have a total of 60 hours for the first mission a total of 100 hours for the second then we also have play an evolution dungeon 15 times and play an enhancement dungeon 15 times etc so quite a few missions here basically interacting with your dailies and you'll receive some fortune chips here to spin the wheel of fortune which is a current event that is currently going on. And the last year, everyone, for the Mission Pass missions, we have the Thispy episode for Davi's limited time missions. So all you have to do is level up the Runaway Thispy that you do receive from the Narrative Dungeon to level 50 or 60, and you'll receive a ton of crystals as well as 3-star napping places. And if you do evolve to 6-star and level 60, you will receive a 5-star evolution slime and some 4-star napping places as well. Alright everyone, so those are all of the Mission Pass missions that are currently going on. Next, we'll be going into the events. So first up here, we do have the Rebirth Challenge here. So all you have to do is play the Rebirth Labyrinth for a certain amount of times. As you can see, 40 times total. And all you have to do for missions 4 throughout 6 is roll on the Rebirth Labyrinth grid a total of 40 times. And you'll receive some Rebirth coins as well as napping places 
experiences and upon completing missions throughout 1 through 6 you'll receive a grid refresh ticket upon completing all of them. the next event we currently have going on everyone is the wheel of fortune event so as you can see here all you have to do for the wheel of fortune is complete the missions listed below and you will receive a certain amount of fortune chips that will allow you to spin on the wheel of fortune for a ton of various rewards next up everyone we have the never ending evolution event that has been going on for quite a while so all you have to do for the never ending evolution event is evolve 35 star childs to six star and we also have the missions one three and five which allows you to evolve which asks you to evolve a four star child to five star a total of three times so upon evolving all of these units you will receive some equip summon tickets evolution childs crystals as well as some as well as a four to five star equip ticket and upon completing missions one through six you will receive a five star summoning ticket for completing all of them the next event we have currently going on everyone is the this be narrative dungeon no paradise so like all narrative dungeons all you have to do is clear the stages and collect event collection items in order to spin in the grid here a certain amount of times and you'll be able to collect all of the main collection rewards listed here which does feature this piece armor set which first here we have this piece hair ornament we also have this piece ribbon which is her armor set and as for accessory we have this piece jewel now of course we do have other rewards here such as a five star summoning ticket a three to five star ten times summoning ticket a five star prism soul card ticket and of course most importantly on the seventh grid you will receive a five star runaway this be upon completing your seventh grid so basically just complete your event missions daily and try and collect some narrative collection items from these stages here and you'll be able to get all of these rewards in no time next up here everyone we have the devil pass which is currently going on now this devil pass is a little different as we actually only have five days remaining on this pass so make sure you guys are actually completing your dailies and collecting those devil pass points which count towards your devil pass and will tear up your pass from tiers 1 to 30 and you will receive a 5 star summoning ticket for completing as well as a 5 star soul card ticket etc. So make sure you guys are collecting those devil pass points as this devil pass will end in 5 days which is a little shorter in comparison to the previous devil pass missions. Alright everyone so those are all of the events currently going on in game so we'll be switching over to the destiny child moot page and going over all of the events that are currently going on on there. Alright everyone so here we are on the destiny child moot page as for the first event here we have the event bluebird of destiny so basically all they're asking for you guys to do is follow their twitter page and i'll be sure to link it in the description box below but if you do follow their twitter page and if they receive a certain amount of followers now i believe we have passed the 5000 mark but if they do receive the 7000 follower mark and 8000 mark threshold we will receive a five star soul card ticket as well as a five star summoning ticket now be sure to follow the destiny child twitter page if you would like these rewards now i'll link them in the description box below as for the twitter link and as you can see here the events period is august 31st throughout september 30th 2359 utc now the reward date will be of course as each goal gets accomplished so i'll be sure to link this in the description box below so you guys can go check out their twitter page next up everyone we have the event stamina party now if we scroll down a little bit below we have stamina will be provided daily during the events period event period september 3rd throughout september 9th 2359 utc event details 100 stamina will be offered upon logging in every day can be checked in the mailbox now this event is to reward you guys with some stamina to basically help everyone out with the narrative dungeon that is currently going on. As for the last and most recent event we have currently going on is the event monthly hot time weekend story dungeon 100% gold plus experience bonus. Now if we scroll down a little bit as you can see the graphic here featuring Ganesha on the screen we have 100% more gold and experience rewards for running story slash narrative dungeon on weekends. So hello dear candidates, this is the DC devs, are you ready to enjoy both the gold plus experience hot time bonus the weekends of September, burn up your stamina and get 100% increased gold plus experience, event period for every weekends of September, event details, your child gained 100% increased gold 
plus experience in story dungeon hope you enjoy and have a nice weekend so basically on every weekend throughout september we will receive 100 percent gold as well as experience on saturday and sunday so a pretty decent event here as it does allow us to collect more gold and experience for our units now we normally do get hot time on the weekend in general but i think the most important part of this announcement is to tell us that we're receiving 100 percent more gold on the weekends so they're trying to make the players more inclined to running their stamina out as we can obtain more gold for playing more story missions all right everyone so that'll be it for today's destiny child video make sure to let me know in the comment section below how the thespies narrative dungeon is currently going for yourself but before you go everyone make sure to leave a like on this video if you did enjoy and also make sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already done so already and are enjoying the destiny child content now with all of that being said, I'll see you all in tomorrow's Destiny Child video. Thank you all so much for watching.